Hey everybody! Welcome to a special edition of the Jada and Stitches show. We hit 15,000 subscribers this week and we really wanted to say thank you by honoring a couple of recent requests we've had to do a crochet project collection update. So we're going to show you everything that we have ever crocheted on the show to this point. But before we do that, there is a member of the Stitch family who really insisted on being part of today's special production. He wanted to show his gratitude to all of you for all of your love and support. So I'm going to let him take it away. Take it away, maestro! about being part of the show this week. He spent three days cleaning out one of the cupboards in my craft room and he turned it into a dressing room. <laughs> I love that little guy. Anyway, let's get on with the rest of this project haul. So let's start with blankets. Blankets are a super popular thing and on the show we've done two different kinds of blanket types. We've made blankets that you build modularly. So for example, the granny square blankets. Here is a blue one that I made that some of you have seen if you've done the um, Granny Square tutorial with us. And this one is a, a sort of an example of doing a monochromatic color scheme. So everything is a shade of blue. And I've got another one here that's also Granny Squares that is made using different kinds of scraps. So there's no real color scheme to this, but it's all the fluffy, chunky leftover scraps that I used. And um, this is all done in acrylic, except for the border, which I did in wool. And when I washed it, it shrunk. So don't mix your yarn types. <laughs> so those are the um, granny square. Then there's the granny hexagon. So this is another modular piece that you can turn into a bunch of things, but a blanket in particular. And I'm working on one. And it's going to get really, really big when I'm finally finished with it. But it's one of those projects that I sort of haul out in the winter and steadily work away at. I have a lot of these hexagons made. They're all tucked away waiting for me to turn them into a blanket. So those are the sort of modular types. We also made what is commonly referred to as a graphgan. I have a picture of that here. That's my Mario afghan. It's the one hanging on the wall. So I made like a little small one, but that's a graphgan. You can take a picture, break it up into pieces, and you also make that in a modular way. So making little squares or little granny squares. Then we've done a couple of blankets that are an actual stitch type. So this is a variation on the ever popular fan stitch and it's a nice little baby blanket. We did this one um, a couple weeks ago and it's really easy to do. So if you haven't tried that one yet, by all means, give that one a try because it is fun and quick and it is so pretty. And then we've got the chevron blanket stitch. Um, that one we did a few weeks ago too and I'm still working on this blanket. I'm going to make it long, 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 but I like it on the back of the couch and that's another good stitch type of blanket. Um, if you don't want to make it modularly, you want to work it all together at, at once. So that so far are the blankets that we've done. Now I thought we'd talk about some of the stuff we've made that you can actually wear. So there's warm weather stuff and there's cool weather stuff. And since it's sort of the warm weather right now, I've got on a pair of my favorite ears. And this is on one of the simple little headbands with ties that we made. Um, so we made 
Uh, I showed one on the, sh on the tutorial that's got like a little pico edge to it. I kind of explained how to do that and I put one of our little hearts on and then I just made a really simple and plain one as well. These are great if you've got hair or bangs you want to keep out of your face or you're working around the house you want to keep your hair back or you want to go to a cosplay convention. That's why I put my little ears on up here. We did another headband called the flowered headband. And this one just had really simple little six petaled flowers put on it. And this was really for fun. Um, sometimes it's nice if you're going to a concert or a barbecue or the beach or something, you want to have a little something special in your hair and not just your typical hairband. <laughs> I love that. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? Well, we've got leg warmers. These were vertical stripes. So you make them going back and forth as opposed to around and around in circles. And like so many of the things I make, I embellish them with the little star tutorial that we did a while ago. And these are fun. These are obviously cool weather things. And speaking of cool weather, we also made a pair of magical mittens. Why are these magical? Well, because you can make them custom to your own hand. And again, I embellish them with <laughs> the snowflake, another tutorial we did. And these are really nice and cozy for the cool weather. We also made baby booties. <laughs> these are really simple. Um, they've got a built-in heel, so you don't actually have to stop what you're doing and sew up the back. And you can wear them as little socks, or you can roll them down in the cuff and um, have a little, a little shoe. <laughs> and scarves. We made scarves as well. This is what I call the half-hour scarf, or the super quick scarf. You hold a couple of things together, so two threads together as opposed to just one, or super chunky yarn. And you just go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Make it as long as you like. It doesn't have to be long. It can be really long. It's totally up to you. Again, embellished with more of these ices. You're going to see my snowflakes everywhere because I just love them. And I put them on a whole lot of wintry goods this past year. Um, and then we made fingerless gloves. I have a whole bunch of fingerless gloves. We did these gauntlets for the superheroes in our life. I've got Batman, and I've got <laughs> Rainbow Dash, and I've got Rainbow Bright. She was a childhood hero of mine, so I absolutely had to pay homage to her. And that wasn't the only set of fingerless gloves we did. We also made these fingerless gloves with kitty cat paws on them because I had made one of these headbands <laughs> with cat ears on it. This one right here. Boom! This is a warm weather headband, really simple to make, and I put cat ears on it because I thought A, that would be kind of fun for Halloween, but B, if you're into cosplay, um, this is a really fun and simple little craft to do, and you can be a cat or just about any other kind of cat-like creature. Oh my gosh, and the hats, I almost forgot. This is a super simple hat. You start with the, um, the cuff part of it, and then you build it up top, and then we did a cute little tutorial on all these different little embellishments. I love stars, so I've got one dangling off the top of my hat. And I embellished it, of course, um, on the front with another one. And this is the exact same hat so don't be confused, this isn't a different tutorial. This is the exact same hat, but it's striped because you know you don't have to, have to do it all in one color if you don't want to. And I put a pom-pom ball on the top of that one. And uh, yeah, so that's our wearable warm and cozies and cool weather, warm weather stuff as well. Some of the other things that we've done on the show are sort of what I consider domestic. So it's sort of something you would use in your house or you'd find helpful in your house. For example, we made these really cute little soap saver scrubbies. And these you can put the tail ends of your soap bars in and you can use it in the shower to lather up. And it's made out of cotton. So it makes for a good little scrubby cloth and you also don't have to waste all those little tiny bits and pieces of soap. So that's kind of cute. We made a tea towel holder. This is one of those things that you can put the tea towel through here and then you just button it over top of your um, oven handle or you can put them over top of your hangers in your closet or the shower stall. Um, these hangers have lots of uses and we made it in the moss stitch so that was another nifty little stitch type that we did too. We also made washcloths. 
Um, there's a nice simple basic tutorial on how to make a completely basic washcloth. Now this one I made in stripes. The yellow one that I made in the tutorial has gone to a new home. <laughs> so it's, but it's the same exact um, shape. It's back and forth, back and forth, simple little uh, border and a little hanger to use as well. And these are good in the shower too if you want face washcloths or you can use them as dishcloths as well. Um, another cute little thing we did is what we call the granny star. So I think these are just so cute and I did a whole bunch and I made a little miniature bunting with it and sometimes you'll see that hanging up in the back of my set. Um, but uh, you can make these really, really, really long and I was thinking about making more of them um, this upcoming Christmas because I think these would look really cute in like red and green and yellow and pretty much any color. <laughs> These are really fun and really simple, and um, they have lots of little uses too, so that was fun. And I think that's it for the housewares. <laughs> We've also done little mini wearables, sort of like jewelry or pins or clips that you can wear in your hair. And we just recently did these crocheted bracelets with beads. I've made a whole pile of these, um, but I wore these ones today because I thought they matched my outfit. <laughs> We've also made hairpins, so cute little flowered hairpins. I've put beads around the center of this one, um, and they're just affixed to a bobby pin. So you don't really have to go out and buy anything really expensive. Um, you can make these cute little six-pointed flowers and put them on a bobby pin. We also made a teddy bear um, applique. This is a teddy bear face applique, and the reason I consider it a wearable is because I put it on a hair clip. <laughs> And you can obviously take the appliques and put them on any kind of project, but sometimes I like them as standalones for pieces of jewelry or pins that sometimes I wear on my clothes. We also did an on the run tutorial of how to make a two pronged sort of flower. So this flower has two sets of petals that run all the way around it. And I also put that on a simple little hair barrette and that one looks really cute in your hair or clipped to the front of your blouse. I took the daisy tutorial that we did. So we did these cute little simple crocheted daisies. Um, again, you can use them as an applique for just about any kind of project, but I worked them into a little summery scarf with some leaves and just a little something to wear around your neck. Let's say you're wearing uh, an open-necked t-shirt or a tank top. It's kind of cute to have a little um, summery, I'd call that a scarf, even though it's not really warm, but it's a summery scarf, just to sort of add a little bit of interest to your outfit. Um, and so that's another nifty idea that you can use some of the applique flowers that we've made with. And then, this isn't technically something that you wear, but you do put it on your body. We made, the TARDIS bag. So for all you Whovians out there, this is a lined bag that you can use as a purse. You don't have to have made it into a TARDIS, but this bag tutorial was a whole lot of fun and it's a neat way to mix the medias together. So there's actual cotton lining in this bag, sewn into this bag. You crochet the shell and then you put in the simple little sort of cotton liner inside. It makes it a lot more durable and you can put a lot more stuff in it. And uh, I'm just <laughs> such a fan, and I love this bag. Oh, it was so much fun. And I think that is it. Oh, and actually, no, that's not quite it. We also made, this is another little applique. It's a friendly little sun. We love suns here at the Jade Institute Show. And um, I paid, made this little tiny sun as an applique for just about anything, but I also put it on a hair clip. And like all the hair clips, you can wear them in your hair, or you can clip them to your top of your blouse, kind of like this. And you can wear them as a little brooch, so you don't necessarily have to wear it in your hair. And who says that crocheted stuff can't make cute jewelry? Hmm? Not me. <laughs> and then there's all the little bits and bobs, and of course, the toys that we've made over the past little while here on the show. Um, this is another little funny wearable that I kind of forgot to mention in the last segment. It's a pin. It's this little sleeping bunny and I love this. It's a, I actually just put this on a, um, a safety pin and you can also put safety pins at the top of the ears too just to keep them from flapping forward while you wear them. But I love wearing this little um, pin 
on my lapel when I go to work because it's a great conversation piece. People ask me about it all the time and I just think it's so absolutely adorable. So there's that one we made as well. And in kind of keeping with sweetness, we made what we call the Lolita bow. And it's just a simple little crochet bow. I put some extra bling on it. <laughs> um, but same thing, you can attach a simple little hair clip to the back of it and you can wear a great big over the top bow in your hair or um, on your collar if you like. Um, that's a, a really simple and fun little project as well. Bows have plenty of uses as we all know. Then we had toys. So I don't even know where to start. We've made so many and they've been so much fun. This one obviously you should know if you're a fan of the show. This happy little sunshine shows up everywhere. Um, I loved making this sunshine. I've made a couple and uh, I've got one here and I've got one on my little um, painting that uh, I've got hanging here in our family room. Um, I just love how happy and smiley he is. It makes me smile every single time I look at them. <laughs> so we did him. We also did Pixel. This is a great little toddler toy. So if you know a little somebody who is um, new to the planet or is looking for some fun little birthday presents, this is a nice, soft, simple, fun toy to make. And of course you can put lots of different colors into Pixel. And uh, Pixel makes just such a, a fun, squishable little uh, toddler toy, good for little hands. Um, quick to make, not very difficult, and um, uses a couple of nifty little uh, joining methods too, so that was a fun one. We also did trees. We like to have sets. <laughs> we, we filmed some of our things here at the Jade and Stitches show, and we had a request to make the tree. Um, a while ago, so we did that as well. And these are fun little toys too, especially if you're making like racetracks or if you've got little girls uh, or little boys who've got little tiny stuffed toys and they want to like create a little forest. Those are fun. And we've got our little mouse. This is Klaus. <laughs> he, of course, is usually found playing in our crochet trees. He's got his own little crochet forest up there in the craft room. And uh, he's a simple, fun little one too. And I've made miniature versions of him to wear in my hair. Then there's the cactus. <laughs> this little cactus comes with his own pot. <laughs> this was another version of a toy that we made that um, experimented with uh, beans too. So there's regular fiber fill stuffing in the majority of the cactus, but his little tiny pot is full of beans so that when he sits, he won't fall over. So it puts a little more weight in his bottom. And um, that makes, see if I just plunk him down, he's not gonna fall. So, doop. <laughs> not wiggly at all. So beans, super helpful. And speaking of bean bags, we also made these really friendly looking yummy strawberries. And I just want to bite into them every single time I see them. But you can fill these with beans. You can also fill them with a plain old fiber fill and you can use them as a um, pin cushion. You can use them as just a simple toy or a bean bag, and you can also make them a little bit smaller and wear them in your hair, which I've done on occasion as well. Then we've got the narwhals. <laughs> this was another cute little amigurumi tutorial we did. Lots of fun. Narwhals are a super friendly little species, and the best part is it's actually for real. I mean, we love uh, unicorns. We did a unicorn tutorial as well. I'll show him to you in a minute. Um, but these are the unicorns of the sea and they are really out there. They've got these crazy long horns and they're just so magical and fantastic. So we had to pay homage to the cute little narwhals by creating a little stuffed toy version of them. And speaking of things with horns, this is the magical baby unicorn. We made him in a three-part series uh, because there were so many different things that went into making this fabulous little toy. He's got his fancy little decals and he's got his froofy little hair. And um, of course, there's all of his body pieces. So this was a long tutorial. It was done in three parts, but it was really, really fun. And I have to say, this is probably my favorite stuffed toy. But don't tell the others because I don't want them to feel jealous. <laughs> and he's big. I love big toys. You can really get your mitts around him. Let's see, we've also got the Minion. We love the Minion. We love Despicable Me. That is such a funny series of movies. We just adore them. And there's another one coming out soon. So I had to do a Minion for everybody out there who loves these guys because I mean, 
<laughs> so funny. <laughs> and uh, I love how chubby they are. They've got their little tiny legs. But um, so yeah, we did a minion and um, I have seen some of you have done the minions in purple too. You've posted me pictures on Facebook and they're awesome and I just love seeing them. So that's another thing. If you make any of our tutorials, for heaven's sakes, please post me pictures on Facebook and Google Plus and Instagram because it just totally makes my day. I love to see what you guys do. It's just, it's just, it's just it's awesome. <laughs> then of course there's the Minecraft. We're big fans of the Minecraft game, so I had to do a creeper and I had to do the Enderman. And this little guy has, I did a pattern along with him, so it's up on our website. And if you go to the website and go to our workshop page, we've got a bunch of free patterns there. Most of them also have a tutorial that goes along with them. And this was a sort of a super special thank you to the fans um, tutorial. And we put up his pattern for free. So if you ever have trouble following along with patterns or making sense of them, it's helpful to print off this pattern or the, um, the baby fan stitch blanket. Um, there's also a free version of that pattern on our website too and you can print that off and follow along with the tutorial if you need help because that's a good way to learn. So there's those. <laughs> we also did, oh my gosh, the bunnies. My little Amigurumi bunny. He's so cute and small. And we made critter hats so that they would actually have hats to wear. And we also did a backpack, <laughs> just in case your rabbit wants to go on an adventure or two. It's probably important that he has a backpack and a hat. You don't want him to go out into the woods without something covering his little noggin, right? <laughs> um, and can, given that, you know, we're into entertaining here, if you know any rock stars in your life, we did a, <laughs> we did a microphone tutorial. And uh, this is such a fun toy. If you ever make one of these and put it down in a room full of a bunch of toddlers and put some music on, watch what happens. <laughs> it's hilarious. And you know what? A little bit of wine and the adults and like the karaoke machine gets going and <laughs> nothing more fun than a simple little microphone. <laughs> Stuffed, of course, because if you drop it, you know, it's not gonna hurt anything. <laughs> Um, bags, little tiny mis mischievous bags. We made a little envelope for Valentine's Day. And of course you can make these for gift sizes that are small, like cards and whatnot for anybody at any time. Um, but I embellished mine with one of our little heart um, appliques. And then we also went to the beach one day and I made a cute little charm bag in blue, which has also gone to another home. But I liked it so much that I've made several of these now. Um, and you just have a simple little string and it just opens up like a little sack and uh, I always like to put a little something on it so I put the uh, star applique on this one but very simple little bag also makes um, a cute little place to put small gifts or your earrings so these are both good little gift sacks and uh, fun not too difficult to make either and you can use your scraps on them and other toys we've made, of course, you know Alfonso, and he's sporting his fancy little bow tie for the event. And we also did a dragon expansion pack to go with it. So there's the dinosaur tutorial, and then there's the wings and fangs expansion pack tutorial. And these guys are really, really cool. They've got bendable, um, I should say posable legs, because they've got a, a, a button joint. So these guys... Um, if you make, you don't have to make them with the button joint if you're making it for somebody small and you're worried that the button might come off. But um, if you do have a slightly older dinosaur fan in your life, then this is a really cute little um, project because he's posable, obviously. <laughs> and let me see, we did a little Amikurumi pencil. This is, I don't know, just so cute. I've always loved pencils and crayons and I just had to make myself a great big stuffed version of it and uh, I'm debating whether or not I'll take it to work with me and just like you know pretend that I'm working and just see if anybody notices and asks me about my gigantic pencil but <laughs> ah, what can I say I'm a bit of a trickster <laughs> and the very last set of things that we've done are things that you've been sort of seeing sprinkled about the rest of my projects I like to make little appliques from time to time. So I've made several different kinds of flowers. We've got the daisy that I showed you earlier. We've got the five pointed petal flower. Um, we've got a little rosette. This is something that you can make out of scraps. And it's really, really simple. You just sort of like uh, roll it up and pin it shut. And that makes a cute little thing. Um, like sort of you can put it on another project. And then of course we also made leaves to go with it. So you can pair up your little flowers with 
a leaf or two, especially if you're making a um, sort of like a pretty little image on a purse or something else, maybe a hat. We did the snowflake and the Christmas tree. And those were little appliques we did in the winter time for the middle of winter. And that is pretty much everything, except <laughs> for a handful of little goodies that are no longer in the house. But I do have pictures of them and I will run them um, at the end of this little video. So thank you everyone for 15,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for coming every week and spending some time with us. Thank you for visiting our website. Thank you for going to our Etsy shop. Thank you, thank you, thank you for following me on Instagram and Etsy and Facebook and posting me your pictures. It is just so neat to see what you guys come up with when you watch these tutorials. And just in case some of you were wondering about some of the stuff we've already made, I thought this would be kind of a neat way to sum it all up in a single video. Everything you've seen here has a tutorial. So if you have any questions about them or how you can find them, don't hesitate to ask me in the comment box down below. Thank you so, so much. So stay tuned for a few more pictures. We will roll them at the end of the video and um, we will see you again really, really soon. Thank you so much for 15,000 and thank you so much for all the fun that we've had over the last year and a bit, spending time with you guys and with our favorite craft. We will see you soon. Bye everybody.